Hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting episode of A Week in Geek Them here on YouTube. Geo here, and finally, to have a manga series come back after so many years, and to have it trending worldwide for a very specific reason, I thought that was actually pretty cool. So let's go ahead and talk about it. Death Note, if you don't know, it's written by uh, Tsugumi Oba and illustrated by Takeshi Obata. And in this story, this new chapter called the Death Note Special One-Shot, it is set 10 years after the events of the original manga, and it follows Ryuk's adventure into the human world once again, where he um, drops his Death Note to, into the hands of another high schooler this time or i should say middle schooler minoru tanaka and the event that follows it's 80 pages which surprised me i thought it was going to be shorter and features a really compelling argument of how do you take a story that ended it had a good uh a proper finale let's just say how do you expand on that provide new content that satisfies the fan base while still providing a solid conclusion to that one shot. I'm not gonna spoil it because I want you guys to read it and come back to this video and let me know what you thought of it, but I really dug it. It's not, I, I mean, I didn't ask for a sequel to Death Note. I think nobody did, the story was pretty much over, but to have it set 10 years later, modern setting and the rise of social media is more than evident in this one shot everybody's on uh, Twitter and all that stuff and a post Kita world where surveillance is at an all-time high because they don't want a repeat of what uh, Kita aka Light Yagami did when he had the Death Note obviously not everybody knew what the actual uh, instrument of his uh, reign was the actual notebook but still, the survivors of the previous story, the ones that uh, made it through to the end, they're here as well, which I thought was really cool. It was awesome seeing all these characters again. And it sort of brought a nostalgic feeling seeing all of these characters because it reminded me, it brought me back to that awesome series. Uh, and it was a phenomenon. When Death Note came out, you have to agree how much of an impact that series had. Uh, whether it be the anime or the live-action Japanese movies, it, you knew about Death Note when it came out. The manga was excellent, too, obviously. Um, massive fan base. And now, with this new one-shot, it sort of feels like those characters didn't freeze up in time. You know what I mean? Like, the story did continue. We just didn't know about it. We didn't see it. And now, to see these characters in a modern setting... Um, especially L, uh, really hit it home to me, and I'm I, I felt kind of nostalgic towards the one shot, and I really like that aspect. I thought that was really well done. The art is as sharp and crisp as ever, and seeing the character of Minoru and how he deals with uh, the Death Note situation is very different from what Light Yagami did when he had the Notebook. Totally separate individuals. They're smart uh, in very different ways. One is more like academic. This guy is more uh, street smarts and and just um, weaves. Him, he knows how to weave himself in and out of situations, if that makes sense. And the way that he goes about using, um, and I say quote unquote using the Death Note is very interesting. I liked that this was more of a battle of social media, communications, and public reception to the news that the almighty Kita had returned, and how do you do that in a new era where everybody is being monitored, cell phones, communications, all the texting and all that stuff, in, in light of what, pun intended, Light did previously. So I thought that was really cool. The ending uh, caused um, caused the series to trend worldwide because it featured the President of the United States of America. And nobody saw that coming, which I thought that was hilarious on the uh, creative team's part. So very briefly, the story uh, has... Um, 
the character. And if you don't mind the tiny little spoiler, you can skip ahead a few minutes. I won't take long. Uh, we'll still be here. <laughs> uh, the story, in a nutshell, uh, this new Death Note wielder is going to sell off the book. Because he wants none of the craziness that involves being a, uh, a user of the notebook. And that sets up a chain reaction worldwide, uh, almost like a, on a PTSD level with everybody reacting to it. All the world governments, um, L, uh, the Japanese police department, uh, the Japanese government, and all that stuff. Plus, uh, seeing a little bit more of Ryuk and his interactions with the uh, other Shinigami was really cool. I really like that. I, I don't I'm not saying we need another story because this is pretty conclusive and the way it ends is sort of satisfying but you do see in an alternate scenario where the creative team could be like okay we did this and it sort of slightly opens the door to more death note stories uh, I'm not saying we need that because I don't think we do but this was like the perfect ending point to that franchise. If there were to be more uh, installments of the manga, I wouldn't necessarily fault it. I'd read them and I enjoy them because uh, I like the original. But I think that like this felt like a really nice epilogue to the whole saga. But if they were to do something else, I would really like to see more of the Shinigami world um, because I, I really like that aspect from the original story. And to see that brought back in a very small way, might I add, was really fun. So yeah, uh, fantastic artwork. It's like the authors never left and continue drawing. Uh, a really interesting one shot, 80 pages of fun Death Note craziness in a sort of different take on the franchise that I think a lot of people will like. Maybe some others will be like, eh, it could have been lacking in some areas. I don't know. I liked it for what it was. I thought it was a unique twist because not everybody's going to be a light Yagami. You know what I mean? Everybody's going to do things differently. And the interactions with Minoru and Ryuk and how he is going to try and change the world in his own way was actually pretty freaking awesome. What did you guys think of the Death Note special one shot? Did you like it? Let me know in the comments section down below. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. This was sort of a quick impromptu video. I just had to because I'm a big fan of Death Note and, you know, more content? Yes, please. Thank you for tuning in. Follow me on social media. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing to We Can Geek Them. Also, hit the little bell icon so you know when new videos pop up. Let's make this channel reach the 2,000 subscriber mark. Pretty please. Thank you so much. I have to go. I will catch all of you on our next review.